Hello everybody, this is Keith Brown with the Georgetown County School District and today I'm going to show you how to use the read and write extension for Google. So I just have a piece of a document that uh, is very familiar to everyone, Abraham Lincoln and the Gettysburg Address and of course I have it properly cited on my page because we are good digital citizens. And so to use the read and write app, what it does is allows us to have several different tools that can help us. Up here at the top, it looks like a little puzzle piece and has the RW in it. And if you put your cursor across the top, it will say read and write for Google Chrome. And so I'm going to click this and it opens up a new toolbar for me to have access and use. And so just real briefly, I'm going to go through some of the things it does. This is a spell check. If you have some words you want to spell check, this is a prediction text. So if you happen to have used some words a lot and you click on it, let's just say, I'm going to click on this one. If I happen to have used a word a whole lot, I can click here, click on this word, and it will give me all kind of word suggestions that I might use. And if I scroll down on them, Four. Found. Four. It actually gives me the pronunciation of those words. If I don't want to use it, fine. If I do, I would click on it and it would then, of course, replace it. I'm going to click here and click off of that particular tool. Now, the next tool is the picture dictionary. So if I have a particular word that I don't know what it happens to be, and let's say I have conceived, no, let's see, let's, let's put uh, fitting all together and I'm going to take this word or this word and I don't know what it is if I click here it might have a picture of it let's see let me choose this word right here I'm going to choose this picture dictionary and it's showing you a picture of the word portion some way that it's being used so that may give some association to the word the next time that the student were to see it. All right, so I'll click off of that. This one is a great tool because I'm going to click right in front of where I want it to be, and you'll notice when I click here. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent. And it has a great voice that does not sound robotic at all. And so I'm going to hit stop here. Now, this would be the pause in the middle of the reading. This is a screenshot reader. It actually requires an, a, an additional app or an additional extension, so I don't use that one very often. Uh, this is Audio Maker. Uh, this one also has a, an additional uh, app that would go into there. But this one I like. This is Screen Mask. So if a student is not really paying attention and you need to try to get them back focused, if you hit the Screen Mask, you can scroll down and show, oh, there's where we are on this particular piece of writing or this particular document. I click on it and that screen mask goes off. I will also say that on the screen mask, this is your default, but you can always come up to the settings piece on here and come down and let's say I wanna make that height a little bit more and it allows you to broaden or give a taller version of the screen mask that you have. And then I can cancel out from here and go back to the other. This piece right here is talk and type. I'll get to that in a minute. Here is another piece that's uh, pretty nice on here. Another little tool. So if I click the word seven and I click up here, it's probably going to give me a translation. And if I click it, siete. Siete. it gives me some pronunciations in there. Here's the tools that I really like, the highlight tools. So I'm going to highlight this word and I'm going to click highlight that in yellow I'm going to click continent highlight that I'm going to highlight that in green it doesn't really matter you might want to say let's choose all the words in uh, blue that are uh, happen to be verbs or vowels or whatever you choose to want to do I'm just going to make all of these in different places and this doesn't really matter for this explanation and so I've got these words highlighted. When I finish highlighting what I want to, or what the teacher asks the two students to do, 
I'm going to come over here to collect the highlights. And when I click on collect the highlights, I want to collect all the colors in this case and say, OK. Then you'll see over here we are collecting the highlights and a brand new document will come up. It will put all of those words on there. It'll put the title that we came from the Google Doc and who sent it to them. Now, um, what I would do with this, when well, I would go up here, highlight all of those, and I could either sweep those away or I could go up into here and, and click highlight color zero. And so now I've got a bunch of words that I can send out on a brand new document. Highlight untitled lesson one and now i've got a brand new document that i can share out with my students and have them uh, in google classroom to uh, define those words right there all right so the next tool that i'm going to go back to this same document this next tool i think i like even better i'm going to click here <clears throat> it is now creating a vocabulary list for me again in a brand new document and that document should be popping up here in just a moment. <clears throat> and there it is. So now I've got the word. I've got several meanings of the words that I have highlighted. Uh, it will give me pictures if there are pictures uh, to be associated with those words. And it would uh, maybe help the emergent reader or some of the folks that are struggling a little bit to uh, be able to work with those. Now, this is, again, a new document. So this can be untitled Lesson 1 again. And you might even want to take this part off and say use uh, use in a sentence <clears throat> and have them create a word or sentence using the particular words over here. And you'll see they're highlighted. Every other box is highlighted with a with a light blue color here. So that's another next. Now when I get rid of that, I got rid of this. I have all of those things over here. This is a practice reading piece. This is a voice note if you want to enter a note just like you would in the Google Classroom. Um, this is a practice reading aloud, so I'm going to highlight that first sentence right there, our first uh, couple sentences, and I'm going to go to my read aloud. And now I am the student, and I'm going to click here to start recording, and I'm going to record myself reading this passage. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. And when I hit stop, I am the student. I can come back and play. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent. And sort of listen to myself. And if I wanted to, I could even click here to email and send it to the teacher. And when the teacher gets that email, she'll be able to pull it up or he will be able to pull it up and uh, sort of keep a record of the reading that the student's doing, making any kind of progress that you have. And so all those are great tools for using read and write and hope this has helped you some.